Hey guys, and welcome to this uh, YouTube video where I'm going to try something new. I'm going to look at a new app for the iPad um, where I'll, you know, uh, go through the different features that is in this one. It's called Cadmio and it's a beta version. Uh, I don't know exactly when it will come out, but it's uh, quite promising and it's already quite capable. Um, and it's about visualizing uh, your 3D files in a a more rendered environment uh, on the fly, basically, so you can quickly change your viewports and everything else. But uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, you know, get into it. So thanks for watching. So, it, so um, opening up the app, you'll see this interface, which is quite simple. Uh, there's like these different presentations, as they call them, which basically is a window into the 3D model and the environment and the materials that you set up. So I just imported a, a file, but let me just quickly show you how you can import stuff. You click the import button over there to the right side, and then you basically just pick whichever thing you wanna, oh, sorry, whichever thing you wanna import, like uh, this air purifier, which is the one that I'm gonna try out today for the demo. Um, so yeah, and then you can, uh, you can press select, you can click on one of them, you can duplicate them, delete them, or so forth. Um, and yeah, and then there's some few settings here just to show that's version 0.6. So it's still a beta. But uh, let me just jump in and you can see what it's like. Uh, it's going to open up. This file is actually quite heavy, so it's it's interesting to see how quickly it actually handles this. I'm using, an, uh, I think it's a 2019 iPad uh, Pro, 12-inch. Uh, so it's, um, yeah, but you'll you'll see how it is and how it works. So first, it takes a little bit of time to uh, to load it in because it's quite heavy. Um, but now we're getting there. So yeah, so basically you're presented with this view in the beginning, which will set you, you know, let you see the model and rotate it. I'm using one finger to rotate around, and I'll get back to the buttons up in the middle there uh, later on. But let me go press the back arrow up there. You can see I end up in this view, and this is actually your editor view. You can see up here on the left side there's like the presentation, what models you have and the sub components inside it. So you can go in and you can select them, you can select them all, you can deselect them there. Um, unfortunately, you can't take one of them and then move that bit by itself. It will not allow that, which is a shame, but maybe that will come in a later uh, version. They're definitely very open to that. Uh, you can also isolate parts if you want to. Uh, it's a very tiny thing that I isolated there. Let me just see here if I press something like Mm, this one, and I press isolate button down there in the bottom. You can see, you can zoom in with two fingers and you see what it's like. Yeah, anyway, I'll just zoom out a little bit again. Okay, but you can notice that even though it's quite heavy, it's still pretty fluent. So, okay, so that's basically what you have here. It's the scene tree, you can say. Uh, next to it, you got the uh, library, the catalog, as they call it, with materials. And there's quite a few materials. You've got plastic materials metal materials, paint materials, fabric. And let me just try and see, I actually I wanna use fabric for this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pattern A, I would think, and just hold down and drag it onto the place where I want it. And that's about it. Let's see if they have some wood. Uh, yeah, they got some wood. I like the oak veneer, maybe that looks good on this part. And uh, no, it, well, kinda did. But if, if I wanna edit this, I can go into the, I can go over here to the right side and press. No, okay, oak is not editable. Ah, this one is maybe better. Now you notice over here on the right, if I just replace a new material, let's say actually I want to use bamboo instead. I can drag the bamboo over there. Um, and yeah, uh, and then I can, I can delete the unassigned material so it cleans it up uh, a bit. Oh yeah, please select, oh yeah, that's just to highlight and select. Uh, yeah, show what products are selected by swiping. Anyway, I got this one. Uh, I wanna use another material, which is basically going to be a plastic material for the base, I think. Uh, this synthetic rubber looks quite nice, although I don't take this, well, I kinda like it's black, but for, yeah, let's just keep it black for this sake. And then I'm gonna use a material like a metal one for the for the details here around the bottom, uh, the 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 rotational the dial here. Um, let's see if they got some copper brushed. 
I can drag that over there. I can drag this one over to the other one. And then the, yeah, the graphic, as you notice, yeah, that's pretty good. But I can, I could go in and, and change the the color of the, the, oh, you see over here, when I did the dragging from the copper, it got that one. So I'm just gonna push this one out to the, uh, oh, un, undo over here on the left. Drag this one over to, What happened with my... Anyway, I'm going to drag this in again. Here we go. I cannot do that? Okay. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this, but it, even though it's quite... Uh, it's actually very intuitive. Uh, you still have to, I guess, play around with it just a little bit to get it to where you want to go. Anyway, it's quite detailed anyway. I'm, I'm gonna stick to this. Oh yeah, first this here, as you notice, I can actually go and click on the material and click on the material and that's what I was looking for. I can change the color of the, the pattern upstairs if I wanted to. Let's say I wanna make it a more pink. Actually, I don't wanna make it more pink. I wanna make it gray again, but you know, you can do, it makes it make sense to make it quite dark because it's also a dark base. Okay, so now that I'm pretty happy with my very quick texturing, you can also notice here that if we go in here, you can see there's the quite a lot of texturing on. It's quite nice. But anyway, yeah, that's I'm quite, I'm quite happy with this one. So I'm going to go over to my other part in the catalog, which is this little image here. And now I can change my scene, basically. Now I want, I want what kind of scene would make a good scene for this one, depending on if you just want to present the, yeah, the way half loft, house loft might be. So I'm just gonna drag that in, yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good, all right. So, because of this, I can now zoom in and out. Uh, maybe I can also scale it up if I don't like it. Mm. No, not really a scaling thing. Which is okay. Anyway, there's got like you can see the units here. There's apparently also some grid you can show. It's got millimeters and working. And you've got different views here left, back, right, right, back. And that's perspective. So you can actually quite easily go in and see the views from each angle if you wanted to. Which is nice. But anyway, I'm just going to keep it in perspective. Uh, I haven't apparently select. Uh, this was just a. Here we go. Why is this gone again? Oh no, I think. Mm. Okay, it crashed. All right, it crashed. So basically what I think happened is it was just too heavy maybe. And now I think all my materials are gone. So let's see if we can open it up again. Yeah. All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry. Uh, I think the app crashed and it left me, unfortunately, with the fact that I have to do it all over again, which is okay because then I can practice a little bit more. Um, plastics, I actually want to use the synthetic rubber one in the bottom. I'm happy about that. I want to use a metal, a copper for like a brush copper, I think, for the butt this one and I can then drag from the right side and onto so I don't have multiple materials over here um, but if I wanted to add another copper I could just drag it from the left side so from the catalog side instead the right side here shows the materials that are in the library right now or in the model right now uh, in the scene and then I'm going to use the fabric one on the top because I like that a lot and uh, maybe maybe or I could maybe look at how the cotton looks hmm. That might be into even better. Okay, I'm gonna use the ah. No, I'm gonna use the cotton one. It's actually quite nice. It's a little bit more subtle, right? Um, and then I'm gonna remove all the other side, the one right. Let me just click on the cotton one, make it a little bit darker. All right, I'm happy with that. And then I need to add the wood. The maple wood here was pretty good. Yeah, keep it at that. All right. Then I was going to 
go out again. So I'm just making sure that maybe I've saved it now. Going back into it is going to take a little bit of time, but at least it's worth it if it, next time if it crashes, it's not going to be lost all the materials. But hey, it's a beta, so what can you do? You have to make sure that it's uh, still a beta zone. Bear with it, and it's a pretty heavy file. So other files that I have are loading much faster than this. So it's just uh, I'll show you later how that how quick it is. But all right, here we go. Yeah. All right, so now you've got it in presentation mode, which is good, except I need to add some scenes. So if I use my environments over here, I can actually go to my environment tab in the catalog and then just by dragging uh, like this and then, you know, clicking to there, it's going to already to be imported into the scene. And you can see I have multiple. I'll just remove the cameo default. Actually, I'm not really happy about the glass floor for this specific one. So I might use the white box. Then I'm gonna get rid of this one. Um, but yeah, the white box is always good. It's give you that, you know, yeah. And then I'm gonna use the warehouse loft because I think that was interesting, uh, really interesting as well. Okay. So now that I've set up these things, let me look at the presentation mode because I wanna actually get a few views in that I could use. So for instance, a good angle would be something like this and then I can click on the camera icon and you can see there's these three slots and you can click store view now the view is stored uh, I can also take one where it's more like maybe going all the way in here and click on this one and now you see how it gets like very focused on this area. Okay, I'll store that as my second view. That's pretty neat. And then it's actually quite nice to have this I don't know, focus on the details here. Like something like This one. Now it would be nice maybe to store even uh, greater or even more views, but I mean, that's kind of like it. Let me just show you what it, what it means actually. So as you notice here, I can rotate around and because it's so heavy, it's, it's not that fluid. Also my finger is a little bit easy, but yeah, you get the idea, right? Okay, so if I then go into presentation mode, which is what is interesting for me now, you got this view. And that's basically what you would use. You can still use your fingers to, one finger to rotate around and two fingers to zoom in. And you can also just double tap and it will focus where you double tap. So double tap over there. Now I'm double tapping here and I'm double tapping there. And you can zoom in and you can see that every time I double tap, it will refocus, which is quite nice. So, all right. And then you can go and choose different. See, if you tap on the image icon up in the top there next to the camera view, you can switch or toggle between the different uh, environments you've set up. So it's quite easy to, to show something different. Also, you can click on the right side, one, two, and three, and it will toggle between the preset uh, camera angles, which will help you explain things much more if you have like a detail you want to show. Uh, for instance, um, and also, which is interesting for this case, I can go in back in here. Uh, oh, uh, damn it. Also, I can go back in here, and then I have this view where I can go into my uh, presentation area, where I can see all my parts. And basically, if I'm looking for the fitted for, and then hiding it, I can then get you know the details that I want to see inside it, which in this case is quite nice, and you can just go back into presentation mode and you can still toggle between the different views. Uh, so yeah, so that gives you like multiple, uh, you know, choices in terms of what you want to do. And the good thing about this is let's say the, the guys uh, want to see a, on the fly, want to see a different base color, right? I can go in here and if you already preset a swatch, then, you know, you can, should be able to to use it, yeah, and it become that color, you know, already, which is quite nice. So, uh, or you can go in and just 
you know select your own color by running around this area here uh, if you wanted a, a different one like a green or this type here you can get that it's also quite nice so yeah so there's like multiple options here so that was just a quick preview of uh, Catmeo I hope you uh, enjoyed it and maybe you can see the potential as well as I can anyway yeah that's it thanks for watching I hope you learned something